Hello everyone. Good morning children. Today we are going to start lecture number 2, chapter 14 of geography part. Okay? Are you ready all? But before that, we discuss some topics related to the chapters which we have done. Okay. Uh, please note down also. Uh, first, history part. Chapter number 1. Rise of British rule in India. Chapter number 2. First World War and Russian Revolution. And chapter number 7. Post-independence India. <coughs> These three chapters we have done before a month or a one and a half month. Then in civics part, chapter number eight, framing of constitution and its features. Chapter number nine, fundamental rights, fundamental duties and directive principle of state policy. Then chapter number 10, organs of government. And then chapter number 12, Indian democracy. Then unit 3 or part 3, geography. Chapter number 17, done, natural vegetation. And currently, chapter number 14 is continued. One or two topics. We have done and then the remaining prof topic we will start in today's lecture. So see students, three chapters in civics, four chapter in, sorry, three chapters in history, four chapter in civics and one and a half chapter in geography. Already done. From my side, from your side, I don't know it is done or not. Most of the students do but remaining students not done so a students who all are not uh, regular in fan not and learning so please increase your speed and complete your fair book homework regularly and try to learn every day at least 15 to 20 minutes for social every day give 15 to 20 minutes for the subjects then you will be cover all the topics easily and also learn so try to learn because already we have done 3 plus 4 7 plus 8 chapters so it is half nay, 40 percent of our course so please try to learn all the topics because at last when we we will done all the chapters within a time to what to say at uh, the time of the final examination and you not done regularly then all the chapters you have to learn together and at that time it is very hard and it is very tough so try to learn chapter wise and start now Okay, from today you start learning. So now we are going to start today's lecture, chapter number 14. <coughs> okay. In chapter number 14, we have start, we had start the page number 109, remember? Good. So, in this chapter, we studied about the rock, uh, three phases, uh, again and stratified, metamorphic, then chart of rocks uh, in first type, instructive, extrusive, and second, inorganic, organic, and chemically, and in the third, Contact and regional. Contact and regional not have a sub 
point but first and second have a soft point like in intrusive plutonic and hyperbasal and extrusive volcanic then in stratified in ingor organic arcanous then argillous then conglomerate and in organic calcareous and carbonous then we have done studied in detail then we do we done mineral then classification of mineral metallic minerals like precious metallic minerals light metallic mineral of general use and minerals used alloys so gold silver platinum are the precious then uh, mag manganese magnesium bauxite and titanium are the light metallic <coughs> iron copper lead zinc tin and nickel are the mineral of general use then chromium manganese tungsten and vanadium that is mineral used alloy then non metallic so limestone chalk abstracts mica fluorophore gypsum sulfur diamond then energy resources coal mineral oil and natural gas uranium thorium etc and then we see we have seen the major minerals and their special distribution with steel name remember steel today i repeat iron from jharkhand chatisgarh andhra pradesh goa odisha tamil nadu maharashtra rajasthan karnataka bihar madhya pradesh <coughs> then manganese karnataka odisha madhya pradesh maharashtra goa then copper gujarat karnataka andhra pradesh uttar pradesh rajasthan sikkim meghalaya maharashtra west bengal mp and jharkhand then bauxite odisha andhra pradesh chatisgarh maharashtra jharkhand and gujarat see students this table we covered in map but still you have to learn this table then lead rajasthan andhra pradesh tamil nadu west bengal madhya pradesh uttar pradesh odisha maharashtra meghalaya sikkim and gujarat then mica andhra pradesh rajasthan bihar jharkhand then limestone uh, madhya pradesh chatisgarh andhra pradesh rajasthan gujarat karnataka himachal pradesh clear good now we start next topic soil total six type of soil of classific uh, classified so first we basic resource we see of, of the soil <clears throat> we know that soil is the basic resource for the agriculture beside agriculture soil is also very important soil is not uh, important for the agriculture but also importance for other use so soil is a thin layer form of organic and inorganic matter on the surface of the earth so it is related to the surface of the earth in the same way as apple with its skin the thin layer on the crust of the earth is called soil it is clear clear is students soil is related to the surface of the earth in the same way like apple with its skin so the thin layer on the crust of the earth is called soil clear good soil formation how to form soil soil is a result of denudation of rock the rock surface is eroded due to factors like temperature rain snow air vegetation insects and in turn into powder form see first what what is doing 
first rock will be eroded due to temperature rain snow vegetation etc and then it is turned into the powdery form and then it form and land form the land layer so in this layer three are gravels smaller stones and pebbles the soil is particles etc which are known as a regolith underline in this layer there are gravels smaller stone pebbles and soil particles etc which are known as regolith it contain only mineral content then the biotic matter air and water are mixed with it and finally soil is formed out of this mixture still see students we are given the all process of soil formation so you read and learn ke how it is made the process of soil formation is very long term process soil formation process is very long term now we are moving to the next topic classification of soil in india but before that you read this two para first para the importance and useful of soil and the second is soil formation just read it for the 2 to 3 minutes <coughs> please don't lose your concentration due to external voice try to focus in lecture because because i mean they used to hona hi padega because without virtual lectures we don't have any option now okay done good so now we start the classification see students here given the map for classification of soil it is it will be do in map lecture so how many types of soil alluvial black red laterite laterite mountainous and desert alluvial black red laterite mountainous and desert we de study in detail first alluvial soil see uh, now you can see the map it uh, where plays a which type of soil you can see mountainous soil at kashmir then uh, alluvial soil we can see uh nepal se niche like a uh, delhi side then uh, red soil then laterite in our gujarat black soil alluvial soil both then desert soil in rajasthan or kutch clear you can see here good see near to the bhutan also mountainous soil and also red soil and see uh, alluvial and black soil are the more than the others and the minimum is uh, laterite soil is very much less you can see in map clear good so now we start the detail explanation of soil 
first one is alluvial soil <coughs> it can be divided into two types khadar and bangar which two types first khadar and second bangar so the soil form due to fresh alluvial deposit is known as khadar of soil form due to fresh alluvial deposit then it is called khadar and it is also formed due to river flood and it is mostly found nearby the rivers generally such oil is sandy and this type of soil containing oil alluvial in upper valley region of river then it is called bang please students underline i also do the soil formed due to fresh alluvial it is called khadar and the soil containing oil alluvial it is called bang please underline the definition of khadar soil and bangar soil clear everyone is there everyone are there good please underline the definition okay good now uh, it is very uh, difference between khadar and bangar see uh, khadar is uh, at from the fresh alluvial form and the uh, bangar is from or uh, form from old alluvial then uh, khadar is also formed due to river floods and it is mostly nearby river and it is soil and this soil is very sandy and the bangar soil is a sticky and has a dark color and alluvial alluvial soil is seen many parts of country their fertility is also different at the different place and uh, see alluvial soil is seen in many parts of country we can see here yellow part in most of the our country then their fertility is also different at the different places generally such soil is very fertile and it is found in punjab uttar pradesh bihar west bengal etc see alluvial soil is very fertile and that's why it is mostly found in punjab up bihar west bengal etc clear okay good so see this topic and try to learn or uh, important words you try to remember and learn and then you can write with your own words like uh, only sentence structure and formation you write your own but the main words and points you have to write from the textbook <coughs> am audible am i audible clear if can't then you can comment it through comment in youtube huh? if i am not audible properly then you can suggest me to the comment i know my voice is not that much clear due to voice problem but still i try my best but if you not comfort then you can tell me read perfect clear two times read clear done reading done so next one is black soil see students this is most important questions classification of soil for examination classification of soil it is very important for examination and also it is very useful for the standard 10th please note down or mark it it is very important for standard 10th and examination of 9th standard 9th 
okay good black soil this soil is found mostly in maharashtra western madhya pradesh gujarat karnataka andhra pradesh telangana and tamil nadu where it is seen madhya pradesh gujarat karnataka andhra pradesh telangana and tamil nadu you can see in map wait a black soil see gujarat madhya pradesh telangana this is a skin like a skin color or peach color it is called black soil black soil is a gift of peninsular plateau see underline it is a gift of peninsular plateau this soil is very sticky and very fertile it is very sticky and very fertile so it is very useful for the agriculture because fertile soil is very useful for agriculture it can retain humidity for the prolonged time it can retain humidity for a prolonged time it is very long time it is formed from the igneous rock and it is very useful for the cotton cultivation that's why it has become famous as a black cotton soil and it is also known as regal soil please underline why it is known as regal soil or why it is known as black cotton soil so in this question you have to write this para please underline okay good now you read both alluvial and black alluvial one time and black soil two time right now start reading <coughs> alluvial one time black soil two time then we'll moving on dried soil come please fast come reading fast okay then now we are moving on red soil such a soil is found in region of igneous and metamorphic rocks so its red color is due to its ferrous and other human humus contents the soil is porous and fertile such a soil is seen in goa tamil nadu karnataka Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, and Jharkhand. See, we can see in map. Red soil, Goa, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. See, if you know the map perfectly with state, then you can identify. Otherwise, you identify with the color. Red soil. clear good so this type of soil is a uh, mostly uh, found in uh, igneous and metamorphic rocks region then it is color is red 
because uh, it's a fairer than the other humans contents then it is very fertile and also uh, other point is like uh, huh, such type of soil is we can see in goa tamil nadu karnataka andhra pradesh odisha and jharkhand clear good so now it is very small topic i mean to say three lines only so you read within a 10 to 20 seconds okay start within 10 to 20 seconds complete the read and also if you want to revise aluminum and black then you can also complete okay good the students in this today's lecture we just do revision of last lecture rocks and minerals then we start the soil and most basic idea then soil formation and classification of soil in india so clean classification we done the three types alluvial soil red soil and black soil and also we study this map in today's lecture so i hope you all clear uh, these three types of soil alluvial black and red soil so in today's lecture we done three types of soil so in homework you will write a short note on alluvial soil black soil and red soil try to don't skip any point from this soil and in next lecture we done this we will be done this chapter because only three point three topics are remaining so fourth fifth and sixth types of soil we will do in next lecture so in today's homework you write a short note on this soil and write a short note on minerals and rock in the rough book and write a short note of soil one time in fair note and one time in rough book is it clear clear good and please try to learn this topic because it is very important for standard 9th and also standard 10th so from the next lecture we will start the next top three topics i mean uh, three types of soil and also start a new chapters or a revision of old chapters we see at that time we what we will what will we start revision or next topic lecture or chapter sorry so till that see all the videos perfectly and try to understand and be with me regular in fair note homework and also learning okay so we done today's lecture i hope you all understand perfect and in today's lecture we do we study a too much content so i hope uh, don't uh, that much uh, uh pressure on you कि मैम हमें कितने सारे टॉपिक्स करने हैं एक लेक्चर में एंड एक्सेट्रा सो इन टू दिस लेक्चर वी डू ओनली थ्री टॉप पॉइंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉइल सो आई होप टूडे इज योर लर्निंग फॉर टॉपिक इज यू विल डू आई मीन टू से इट इज़ वेरी मच लेस सो यू लर्न टूडे ओके सो गुड बाय एवरी वन we will meet in next lecture goodbye